Hello and welcome to the short tutorial on how to work with split screen and freeze panes command while working with large spreadsheets on Excel 2010. While working on a large spreadsheet it can be very frustrating to keep track of column and row headings as they disappear once you begin to scroll. So let me demonstrate that. As you can see here, I have got my headings, products, January, February, March, April, May, and so on. I have the quantities calculated, the prices for the products, the revenue generated by them, average, average, maximum, and minimum, and so on. But as I scroll down through my spreadsheet, I have now no idea where these figures belong to. So it can be very frustrating on a very large spreadsheet when you lose your headings. One of the simple methods that you can employ is to freeze panes or split the screen. Now let me demonstrate both just so that you can see the difference. By splitting the screen, I can select any of the row numbers below where I would like the screen split. So say for example, I would select row 4. The next step I must do is to click on the View tab at the top of your screen. And in under the View tab, you will see the Windows group of commands. Now, in here, under the Windows group of commands, we've got a command called Split. So I'm going to just simply click on Split. Let me click just to remove the highlight. You can now observe that my screen is currently split into two. Let me draw your attention to the right edge of the screen. Here on the right edge of the screen, I've got now technically two windows because I have an up arrow and a down arrow here on the top part, on the small part of the top area of the screen. So again, I can scroll up and scroll down. So I can bring the bottom part. Now, if I leave this, you can see that the same text is repeated on the screen below. This can be very confusing if this is not your own spreadsheet. For example, maybe that has been sent to you by a colleague or somewhere else, and it's not your own spreadsheet. So, but anyway, if we move them down to the lower window, you can see again there's an up arrow, and also down here at the bottom there is a down arrow. So again, what it does, it will give you the ability and the opportunity of looking at different parts of your spreadsheet at the same time. Now, if I want to remove the split, I can click on Split, or I can double-click on the split itself, and this will remove it. Now, I can use a split in any direction. For example, if I wanted to split my screen with, say, and keep maybe a few rows here. Say, for example, I would like to keep all my months. Well, I would click on Column H, because this is the column to the right of where I would like my split. And then, of course, click on Split. I'm going to click again just to remove your highlight so that you can see it. Now again you will observe down at the very bottom of the screen this time because it's a vertical split our horizontal scroll bar at the bottom has now got the scroll bar. So again I can scroll across and of course this depends on, on the size of your spreadsheet as well. And again scrolling back and again I can move to the other pane, bring it across and bring it back. So I can click on Split now to remove that. A less confusing method, I suppose, when you're working with an art spreadsheet, if you just simply want to hold on to your headings. For example, I may just want to sit, hold on to my heading on row 1. Well, then I can say, make sure that you're on the View tab again. By the way, if you're on the Home tab when you're doing any of this, you must always select the View tab to get, obviously, access to your window commands. Now, once you're in the Windows group, again, you just simply select Freeze Panes, and you can say Freeze the Top Row. Now, if I freeze the top row this time, it holds onto my row headings, and I can pull my information as I scroll down. The rest of the information, the advantage of this one is the rest of the information will disappear from the screen, so it's less busy. So it very much depends on what you really want to do and I think this one is quite good if you're just navigating around a large spreadsheet and you want to maybe not lose your headings but hold on to them so you can bring and again if I click on the up arrow it will bring any of these figures back down again 
and again of course to freeze panes I say click on freeze panes and unfreeze the panes and that will remove that. You'll notice when I did click on pay, freeze panes command and selected freeze top row you've noticed a little thin black line will appear here it's almost like a border that would suggest to you that that's a frozen row. So again I'm just going to click on freeze panes and unfreeze the panes. What happens if I want to maybe have you know maybe two or three of these rows frozen? Well then you select the row number below where you want the row frozen. So if I want to freeze milk then I go down to the row below which is bread and I click on row number four which is to the left of bread. And now I click on freeze panes and freeze panes, the first option. Again let me just click. Look now where the thin black line is. It's below milk, which would suggest to you that anything above milk is frozen. And again, let me demonstrate that. If I click on the down arrow, the text will now scroll. And it will freeze the panes above. Again, to remove that, I simply click on freeze panes and unfreeze the panes. Now what happens if I want to bring the minimum figure right over beside all my products? I don't want to be constantly chasing over and back through my spreadsheet. Well, if it's a column you want frozen, then select the column letter to the right of the column you want frozen. In this case, I want column A frozen, so I'm going to select column B. Select freeze panes in the Windows group and select freeze first column. Again, let me click just to remove the highlight. And again, you can see now a thin black line coming down to the right of my frozen column. And as I click on my horizontal scroll bar to bring my minimum figure over for all those products, and again, I can use my left horizontal arrow to scroll back again. To remove that frozen line, I simply again select freeze panes and unfreeze the panes. Again, if I want to hold on to all of these, in other words, I want to hold on, I want to freeze as far as June, then I click on the H, column H, which is the column after the one I want frozen, and I go to freeze panes and freeze panes, the first option. Again, let me click just to remove the highlights so that you can see the thin black line. This will suggest to you that anything to the left of this is frozen. So now as I begin to scroll, I can bring over my revenue, my average, my maximum, and my minimum. So that's a quick tutorial, and again, freeze and unfreeze panes. So that's a quick tutorial on how you can use the freeze and unfreeze panes command to navigate through your spreadsheet. That will hold on to headings, whether the row headings or column headings, or the split if you want to navigate through a large spreadsheet to give you an opportunity at looking at different areas of the spreadsheet at the same time, then you would use the preferred method, which would be the split or unsplit to remove it. Thank you for watching the short tutorial, and I hope it helps you by navigating through your large spreadsheets.